Hi, my name is Greg Fine. I'm the co-founder and CTO of Recessatech. Today, I'm going to be giving you an in-depth tutorial on how to hold your phone properly when you're practicing chest compressions using the Smart Certification app. I'm also going to give you some tips and best practices, as well as go over a few common mistakes that I see. When you're in the portion of the app that has the hands-on chest compression practice, you're going to get to a screen that looks like this. It's going to tell you to put your hands in CPR position. It's going to ask you which hand you want to have on top. I recommend trying both hands on top and seeing which feels more natural. First, place your right hand on top of your left hand and close your right fingers around your left palm. Then, try putting your left hand on top of your right hand and close your left fingers around your right hand, which feels more natural. If you're not sure which is better, I recommend if you're right-handed, proceed with your right hand on top, and if you're left-handed, proceed with your left hand on top. I'm going to show you right-handed first, and then I'll show you left-handed. When you get to the screen that says practice rate, it's time to pick up your phone using your modified CPR grip so you can practice chest compressions and get real-time feedback. Start by making sure the phone screen is facing you and that the text on the screen is right side up. Then, you're going to want to grasp the phone between your right thumb and right forefinger. Now, on your thumb, you'll notice there's a little divot in between your knuckle and this joint that's closer to the palm of your hand. I like placing the phone into this little spot here, in that divot, and then I grab it firmly with my right index finger. You're going to want to be mindful that you don't accidentally bump the power button or the volume rocker. Some phones also have a physical do not disturb button. Those aren't as sensitive as the other two buttons, but if you can, you should try to avoid that too. So once again, you're gonna to wanna to place the phone into that little divot in your thumb and then firmly grasp it with your right forefinger. Once you have the phone firmly within your grasp, you're gonna to wanna to place your left hand underneath your right hand and close your right fingers around your left palm. Once you have a comfortable and firm grasp on the phone using this technique, you're going to want to press the start button. We recommend you keep the phone within your grasp of your right hand and use your left hand to touch the button. You'll then have five seconds to place your left hand back underneath your right hand so you can start practicing chest compressions. If you want to practice chest compressions with your left hand on top, you're going to do the same thing but mirrored. So once again, start with the phone screen facing you and make sure the text is right side up. Then, using your left hand, take your thumb and forefinger and firmly grasp the top of your phone. Once again, I'm going to try to find this little divot in between this knuckle and my palm and place the phone into that area here. Again, you want to be mindful that you don't accidentally touch the volume rocker, the power button, and you want to try your best to avoid uh, the additional do not disturb button as well if you have that on your phone. So once you have the phone firmly grasped between those two fingers, you can place your right hand underneath your left and interlace your fingers together like this. Once you have a comfortable, firm grasp on the phone, you can start practicing. Keep the phone firmly gripped in your left hand. And use your right hand to touch the button. You'll have five seconds to place your right hand back underneath your left. Then you can begin chest compression practice. One of the most common mistakes I see people making when trying to hold their phone and practice chest compressions is grabbing it too far towards the center of the phone and simply clamping it in between their palm of their top hand and the back of their bottom hand. While this is an effective way to keep the phone in place while practicing chest compressions, I find it to be uncomfortable and sometimes even painful. It also increases the probability that you're going to accidentally touch one of these buttons while you're practicing or trigger other functions in your phone that you don't want to be triggering while you're trying to practice your chest compressions. So again, you want to grab just the top bit of your phone, maybe top inch or so, inch and a half on a bigger phone, and use just your thumb and your forefinger to do this.